popping my lily pops thank you so much for making it back over to my channel if this is your first time here i'm so glad that you're tuning in on this channel we make diy hair products using all natural remedies with an occasional store-bought product every now and then and then because i'm prided on being transparent in the event that i ever have a hair setback you will see me on this blue comfy couch to dish the tea on what happened to me no anyway because this is really not funny um if you watch my three strand twist flaxy gel video that i um posted a week ago you would know that at the end of that video i showed you all that i noticed that i had heat damage at the end of my hair um it was shocking to me well it was kind of sort of shocking um i'll be honest um but still i was very upset so i decided to delay making this video because since i noticed it i've been battling back and forth in between ranting or being more positive actually hold on i'll be lying because i do have time hold on <laughs> a message to the natural hair salons that truly know nothing about natural hair you don't impress me i don't trust you when i thought that i could because you have a license you put that natural in front of the hair salon hoping to sway the opinion of a fleeting wave. Even after I booked online, confirmed the text and told you my name, you're still asking me who am I here to see and what am I getting today, huh? That was the first sign. The first sign that your inability to pay attention supersedes any license that you have that qualifies you right, that's what I should believe. But why is it that if you cannot even cross-reference your booking log, I would have thought that you would take the time to actively listen and fully grasp what my hair needs. But let me wait. I'll give you one point, because unlike the stereotype of waiting for hours, you immediately showed me to the wash bowl and lathered your special sauces onto my tresses, fingers forcefully grazing my scalp, lifting all of the debris. And I'm a sucker for a good hair wash, so it's crazy. I'm in this new hair salon. But I'm fully at ease. But then again, I trust you because you have a license. But as soon as you applied the treatment to my hair and gestured towards that outdated 1952 strand fryer, excuse me, I mean that flourishing hair denier. Yes, I'm talking about that improperly used hooded hair dryer. I should have realized that you really didn't see me. 20 minutes under is what you promised to make sure that it's fully seeped in. But why is it that 20 minutes actually always turns into more? And whenever the stylist is done with the girl before you, use pressing curls, micro links, or overpriced sewing. But I got you. Because I put that 20 minute timer on my phone, just in case you tried to play me. And as that timer sounds off, I cop the hood of that dryer back and I get a sharp look, but I don't care because I'll be damned if I let not even 30 minutes in a hair salon discredit all the work that I've put into this crown. Yes, I'm talking about my hair. Then wow to think that I'm still semi at ease while I'm walking towards your booth, or should I call it that electric chair, the current forceful, as you plug up that second handheld tool, here comes the heat. Ooh, girl, my hair finna be slayed to the gods. You see that desire for the length chain, the slayed edges, and the ability to swing your hair in the wind. Yes, that's the deceit. But you know what? I was very much content because I felt like my hair was so slayed that it could be mistaken for a relaxer. But now that I stand here with heat damaged hair, my naturalistas, these are the questions that we really should be asking. Why is it that you can walk in and request a honey blonde or pop and fall color that will pull in all of the stairs, but that trained natural hair care specialist will never coach you on the risk associated with bleach when they see the already deteriorating health of your hair why do they not ask you about your hair porosity to determine the proper method for penetrating moisture? Why do we all get the same hair products like our hair has the same voice? Huh? Why are we afraid to speak up when our tender scalps are being pulled, hair being fried off, or hair even parted on the wrong side? Why do we act as though our service providers deserve, deserve the utmost level of unreciprocated respect as though we're not paying our hard-earned dimes. Who remembers when a trim was like $5, now it's 20 Who now knows that if you come in and your hair is extremely thick, 
a bit tangled or nowadays not even washed you're met with a sigh of unwillingness that is considerably unfriendly who remembers that thick grease that served as the heat protectant with that sizzling hot comb that gave you that pressing curl but trust me be careful because that commonly laughed at pressing bump is now the modern day silk press with a slight curl who remembers a wash hot oil treatment deep condition flat iron and style for all like fifty dollars prices in today's economy though you know what come closer let me holla there's a thing called a la carte when everything is individually priced trim ends for 20 deep condition for 25 shoot a towel for a dime my hair salons how about we redo that list for the one time i'll pay one dollar for understanding to make sure that we're clear hair dryers on low heat for two dollars to make sure that i actually leave the salon with better or at least the same health of hair honesty for three dollars to ensure that my interpretation of a dope hairstyle is actually conducive to the health of my hair dedication for two dollars to make sure that this appointment goes beyond just a slave hairstyle and make sure that months after i still feel like my same self how about being apologetic for one dollar to own up to your mistakes I really would pay. I would pay $15 for resilience to make sure that another black girl like me doesn't leave frustrated, hair broken, heat damage, picking up the pieces when all you could have said was, I don't know how to do your natural hair from the gate. A message to my natural hair salons that know nothing about natural hair.